Hi friends, welcome you to the video. Today <coughs> we are, uh, I am going to take up the pairs of linear equations which is one of the chapter in your syllabus of 10th standard. Now what is, a, I have already, we have already done quadratic equations in that I told you that an equation is nothing but a mathematical sentence. A mathematical sentence, any sentence can be converted into a mathematical equation. Now what is a linear equation? Now for example, if I take say x plus y is equal to 8 or it can also be written as x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0. This is called as a linear equation. Now in this equation there are two variables that is one of them is x and the other is y. There are two variables. This is a constant and the power of both the variables is 1. Any equation in which in which there are two variables and the power of both the variables is 1 is called a linear equation. Why it is called as a linear equation is it can be expressed in the form of a straight line on a graph sheet. Now for example I have written here a equation x minus x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0. So y will be equal to 8 minus x. Now by giving different values of values to x I will get a number of values for y different values for y. Now let us say x is equal to y is equal to we will put a table like this. Now if I say x is 0 then what happens is y will be 8. 8 minus 0 it will be 8. Next I will give a value x is equal to 4. So y will be equal to 8 minus 4 this will also be 4. Next I will give a value x is equal to 8. Now this will be 0. 8 minus 8 is 0. Like that. Now at least we must give 3 values like this. 3 values. So I got 3 points now. 1 is two, 3 coordinate points. 1 is 0, 8. The other one is 4, 4. The third one is 8, 0. These 3 coordinates I got. Now if I take a graph sheet. If I take a graph sheet. Mark x axis and y axis. And mark these points. 0, 8. It will be somewhere there. 4, 4, 4, 4. Next, 8, 0, 8, 0. It will be somewhere here. If we correctly mark it, you will find that all the three points, a straight line will pass through all the three points. And this straight line represents graphically the equation x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0. So any, any equation in which there are two variables and the power of both the variables is 1 can be represented by a straight line on a graph sheet. That's why it is called as a linear equation. Now here if we want to solve a linear equation we cannot solve it with a single equation. You cannot find when there are two unknowns you cannot find their values, correct values by, by one equation. So we should have a minimum of two equations. Two equations must be given in the same variables. In same variables. Now for example, this is one equation I have got. x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0. I can have one more equation. x minus y minus 8 uh, minus 2 is equal to 0 if I have. Now I have two equations. 
two equations. One is x plus y is minus 8 is equal to 0 and the other is x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. They have, they have two variables, same variables, x and y are the variables in both of them and uh, the power is 1. I can solve them, that is I can find the value of x and y can be found out. Finding the value of x and y is called as the solution to a pair of <coughs> linear equations. Now these two together form a pair of linear equations in x and y or they are also called as simultaneous equations. Now these equations can be solved either graphically, we can solve them either graphically or analytically. Now graphically means what we have to do is we have to uh, find out, we have to draw both the lines. One is x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0 and the other line, other line that is x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. This similar way, give values of x, give values to x and find out at least three points, then draw a straight line. Now these two lines intersect at one point, where they intersect, what is the value of x at that point and what is the value of y, that will give you the values of x and y, the point of intersection where they have, they intersect. See, for two li straight lines to intersect, what, what should be the condition? See here, if, if, let us say, the two lines given are a1 x A1 x plus B1 y plus C1 is equal to 0. This is a general equation in x and y where A1, B1, C1 are constants and the other line is A2 x plus B2 y plus C2 is equal to 0. These are the two equations given. Now, if a1 by a2 is not equal to, if I put like this, that means it is not equal to b1 by b2, then, then there will be these two lines, if I plot, they will cut at, a, at one particular point, they intersect at one point and the point of intersection will give the solution for x and y. Right, there will be only one solution and the solution will be got by doing that, by drawing the graph. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, is equal to c1 by c2, then they are coinciding lines, lines and they will have, they will have innumerable, they are coinciding lines means they don't intersect at a point. One line will overlap over other line and there are infinite number of solutions to that. You will not have one solution. Here you will have one unique solution only. Next, if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2, then it will, they, the two lines are parallel to each other. They will have no solution. This a two straight lines which, which in which this condition is satisfied, you will not have any solution for x and y. Only if you have this type of this thing, then you can graphically solve it. We can solve it graphically by drawing the graphs. Now this is one. Now in analytical method, there are different methods again. In analytical, that is by calculation, you have a substitution method, Substitution method, elimination method, elimination method, then you have cross multiplication method, etc. Now, this time, in your syllabus has been reduced, I think these methods are removed, they are not there only the elimination method is there. We will see 
some problems will be done on this and we will see how to solve the equations by analytical method that is by elimination method the answers will be same whatever method you follow the answers will be the same now let us see let us solve some problems here Now, from your uh, textbook, I am taking exercise 3.4. Solve following pairs of linear equations by elimination, elimination method and substitution method. The first problem is, first problem is, x plus y is equal to 5. x plus y is equal to 5. This way also it can be given or the same thing can be given as x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 and and 2x minus 3y minus 3y is equal to 4 these are the two equations which are given here two simple equation uh, very simple linear equations given here but and we are asked to solve them solve means find the value of x and y now what we do we write these equations one below the other x plus y is equal to 5 is one equation the other equation is 2x minus 3y is equal to 4 now here y one in one of the equation the sign of y is plus and in another equation the sign of y is minus one has negative sign and the other one has positive sign when these two have different signs one is having plus one is having minus when we subtract they can be can cancelled provided the coefficients are same that is here it is 1y here it is 3y if I make both of them 3 then I can cancel them by this thing I can eliminate y that's why it is called as elimination method so we, I can eliminate y by adding these two equations provided the coefficient of y here and the coefficient of y in this equation are both same so to make them same what I will do is this I will multiply by 3 and this I will multiply by 1 so this will give me what does it give me 3x plus 3y I am multiplying this entire equation by 3 3x plus 3y is equal to 5 3 is 15 this is equation 1 now this I am multiplying by 1 only because if you multiply by 1 what happens is this will remain as it is so 2x minus 3y is equal to 4 is equal to 4 now what I do add adding adding both equations what happens is plus 3y and minus 3y get cancelled when you add 3x plus 3x plus 2x 3x plus 2x is 5x 5x is equal to 15 plus 4 is 19 19 here I am adding because they are different they have different signs if they both have same sign then you will have to subtract it so x will be equal to 19 by 5 so I got by eliminating y I got the value of x now what I do is I will find the value of y by substituting this value of x in that now I have the, the given equation you take any one of the given equation x plus y is equal to 15 uh, sorry x plus y is equal to 5 now in this equation what I will do is I will put x is equal to 19 by 5 so 19 by 5 is e plus y is equal to 5 
Now this becomes a simple equation in y. So y will be equal to 5 minus 19 by 5. That is 5 is the LCM. 5 5 is 25 minus 19 ones are 19. 25 minus 19 that is 6 by 5. This is the answer. Y is 6 by 5 x is 19 by 5. Now, if you add these two, you see, if you add these two, you will find x plus y he has given as 5. I can check it. I can check it. I will put 19 by 5 plus 6 by 5. If I put, this will be equal to 5 is the LCM. 19 plus 6, that is 25 by 5. That is 5 ones of 5, 5 fives of 25. So this answer is 5. So I have verified that x plus y. If I add these two, the total is 5. So this equation is satisfied. Next, 2x plus 3y. 2x plus 3y. This should come as 4. So 2 into x. x is 19 by 5. This is not plus, this is minus. Minus 3 into 6 by 5. So this will be 38 by 5. 38 by 5. Minus 3, 6 are 18. 18 by 5. Again, LCM is 5. 38 minus 18. That is 20 by 5. 20 by 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 fours are 20, so I am getting the answer as 4. So this equation is also satisfied by these values. Now, no other values will satisfy these equations, both the equations. That is the first problem we have done. Next, second one. Second one is like this, 3x plus 4y, 3x plus 4y is equal to 10 and 2x minus 2y, 2x minus 2y is equal to 2, these are the two equations. So. 3x plus 4y is equal to 10. 2x minus 2y is equal to 2. These are the given equations. Now, again, this is plus, this is minus. They have different signs. By adding, when they are of different sign, by adding, we can eliminate them, provided these two have same numbers here. So, it is 4 here, it is 2 here. So, I will multiply this by 2 and this by 1. 1 4s are 4, 2 2s are 4. So, this becomes 3x plus 4y. 3x plus 4y is equal to 10. I am multiplying it by 1. So, everything remains as it is. Next, here, 4x plus 4x minus 4y is equal to 2 2s are 4. So, this is this thing. Now, adding these two equations, this gets eliminated. 4y plus 4y minus 4y get eliminated. I get 7x. 3x plus 4x is 7x is equal to 10 plus 4 is 14. So, x is equal to 14 by 7. That is 2. x is 2. The solution for x is 2. And now, I have to get the solution of y. So, for that I will take one equation, any one equation, 3x plus 4y is equal to 10. So, now x value I know, so 3 into 2, value of x is 2, plus 4y is equal to 10. Now, this is 6, 3 2s are 6, plus 4y is equal to 10. 
Now 4y will be equal to 10 minus 6. If I transport that 6, that side it becomes minus 6. So 4y will be equal to 4. Or y will be equal to 4 divided by 4, that is 1. So the solution is x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. See, check here. 3 into 2, if x is 2, 3 into 2 is 6 plus 4 into 1 is 4, 6 plus 4 is 10. So this equation is satisfied. Next, 2x, 2x means 2 into 2, 4, minus 2y, 2 into 1, 2, 4 minus 2 is 2. This equation is also satisfied. So in after you do the uh, problem, after you solve the problem, you yourselves can check whether what you have done is correct or not and you know whether you will get the entire marks or not. Is that right? I hope you are understanding it. Next, third problem. 3x minus 5y. 3x minus 5y. minus 4 is equal to 0 and 9x 9x minus 9x is equal to is equal to 2y plus 7 it's given like this alright now what I will do first Here, what you have to do is first you would send this for that side. So the equation becomes 3x minus 5y is equal to 4. Minus 4 becomes plus 4. Here, transfer this 2y this side. 9x minus 2y is equal to 7. Is equal to 7. Now, here both these are negative both of them are negative no problem they can be this can be eliminated by subtracting now but before that these two coefficients must be made same so what you have to do is this has to be multiplied by 2 2 5s are 10y and this is to be multiplied by 5 5 2s are 10y so if this equation becomes, what does it become? 6x minus 10y minus 10y is equal to 8. Right? 2 fours are 8. 5 nines are 45. 45x minus 2 into 5 minus 10y is equal to 5 sevens are 35. Now, I have made the coefficient of y as 10 in both the equations. It is the same. But they are of same sign. Both are minus. So now you have to subtract. When you subtract, this becomes minus, this becomes plus and this becomes minus. When you are subtracting like this, plus will become minus, minus will become plus and plus will become minus here. So 6x minus 45x, 6x minus 45x, it will be minus 39x, right? Minus 39x will be equal to, this will get cancelled, plus 10y minus 10y will get cancelled, is equal to 8 minus 35, 8 minus 35 will be minus Minus how much? How much? 28. Minus 28 it becomes. No. Minus 27. I think. Hmm. 
15 minus 8 is 7, yes, 27. Minus 27. Minus 27 it becomes. So this minus, this minus gets cancelled, you can cancel it. So 39x is equal to 27. So x is equal to 27 by 39. Both can be cancelled by 3. 3 nines are 3 thirteens are. 3 thirteens are 39. So it will be 9 by 13. This is the value of x. The value of x is 9 by 13. And now to find the value of y, you take one of the equation, any one of the equation given, 3x minus 5y is equal to 4. That is the one of the given equations. Now in this you substitute the value of x, that is 3 into 9 by 13 minus 5y is equal to 4. So this will be 27 by 13. 27, 3 nines are 27. 27 by 13 minus 5y is equal to 4. So minus 5y will be equal to 4 minus 27 by 13 minus 5y is equal to LCM is 13 13 fours are 52 I think no 42 42 13 fours are 42 minus here it will be 27 only now minus 5y is equal to 27 42 minus this thing Fifteen by thirteen. Fifteen by thirteen. So y will be equal to fifteen by thirteen into minus five. So five ones are five threes are. It will be minus three by thirteen. The value of y is minus three by thirteen, and the value of x is nine by thirteen, which will give you this. The fourth problem, let us take one more problem. Fourth problem is x by 2, x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is equal to um, minus 1 and one more equation is x minus y by 3 x minus y by 3 is equal to 3 now first we have to eliminate first we have to eliminate these denominators here denominator is 2 here it is 3 the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is equal to minus 1. What I will do is I will multiply this equation by 6. That is the LCM here. So what I get? x by 2 into 6. 2 1s are 2 3s are cancels. You get 3x. Plus 2y by 3 into 6, 3 1s are 3 2s are 2 2s are 4. 4y is equal to minus 6. This will be first equation. Here I will multiply it by x minus y divided by 3 is equal to 3. I will multiply this by 3. So what do I get? 3x, 3x minus y, minus y. 3, 3 cancels is equal to 9. Now what I will do? Here, x and x are having same coefficient. Their sign also is same. They are plus, both are plus. So I can eliminate it by subtracting. 
So when I subtract, this becomes minus, this becomes plus, this becomes minus. This is plus, this is minus. So plus 3x minus 3x gets cancelled. 4y plus y is 5y plus 5y is equal to minus 6 minus 9. It will be minus 15. So y will be equal to minus 15 divided by 5 that is minus 3. This is the value of y. Now take one of the equation and substitute the value of y in it you will get the value of x. Here I will take the first equation. Any one you can take. x by 2 x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is given as minus 1. So what I do? In this equation I will put the value of y. x by 2 plus 2 into y is 3 divided by, y is minus 3 divided by 3 is equal to minus 1. 3 ones are 3 ones are, you will get minus 1 here. So x by 2 minus 2 is equal to minus 1. So x by 2 is equal to this 2, if I send it that side it becomes plus 2 minus 1. So plus 2 minus 1 is 1. So x is equal to 1 into 2, that is 2. So x is 2, y is minus 3, that is the solution, you can substitute and check it. I hope you are understanding it. Now this, I am stopping here, I will continue this in the next video. Thank you.